Hello everyone, this is Drew with Drew Drives at Grubbs Family Dealerships and today let's go for a drive in this 2024 Volvo S60 B5 Plus Black Edition. So very nice car right here, it has 247 horsepower and a turbocharged 4 cylinder. The materials feel really nice, the seats are very comfortable as you can see they're very bolstered, there's so much like detail in the seats and I can adjust them in many ways like if you look on that screen here back there's a lot of adjustments you can do and the seats just feel really great uh, you have the beautiful Aura Force Sweden crystal gear shifter 360 degree camera system nice the typical Volvo interior nothing new it feels good and you also had the Google integration so you can have the maps in the center but it's a digital gauge cluster panoramic sunroof which is or not actually yeah kind of panoramic it's pretty big for a sedan you have a Harman Kardon speaker grills right there quite nice yeah look at that seat look how nice it is here are the back seats looks pretty good black wheels with the black edition black mirror caps you have a black grill It's a sharp looking sedan, B5 all wheel drive, yeah. If you would like to shop for cool Volvo vehicles, check out the link to Grubbs Family Dealerships in the description below. I really like Volvos, I think they're elegant cars and obviously they're known for their very high safety ratings which uh, makes a lot of customers very loyal to the brand. Hey, like Volvos are just um, non-controversial, you know, they, there's really, they're very conservative with styling, they're very conservative with the way they do things, and um, there's really, yeah, there's really nothing that would make you, would make one say bad things about the cars. They're just really nice, really nice looking, really comfortable, and they're nice cars. This is actually pretty quick. It's got a lot of low end torque, which is always a nice thing. <coughs> Very smooth ride. blind spots are pretty good and you also have blind spots in the mirrors I mean blind spot monitors they're like this it's like this little strip I like the black edition I think it's a I think it's a cool touch it makes it look a little more sporty and makes it stand out a little bit more Nice. Yeah, you have Google Maps in there, integrated. You have Apple CarPlay, heated seats. And it says on a full tank, it'll get 460 miles of range, which is a lot. I don't think this is a hybrid, so that's a big number for a full tank on a gas, on just a regular gas powered car. Uh, this is a uh, yeah I'm really this is a nice car to cruise around in it just feels really nice like the seats are so comfortable I love the seats it reminds me of like the seats in like a Lincoln black label car or reserve they have like the, these re these re seats that look real similar This is a quite a nice car. Braking braking's is nice. Yeah, I really like it. <clears throat> Now 
and the rear legroom looks pretty good for this being a pretty not like a big sedan or anything it's a pretty normal size sedan so pretty good legroom back there However, I do wish like the steering wheel like in the 9 and 3 grips was a little bit thicker just because so it would be easier to grip the wheel. But the wheel does feel really nice. I like the leather. It has a nice tactile feel to it. Feels good. And I also wish Vol Volvos came with paddle shifters. Most Volvos don't. So that would be a nice touch. This car by no means is like a performance vehicle. It's a nice luxury. It's a it's very oriented towards luxury, not performance. And even performance-oriented Volvos are more more on the luxury side than performance, from what I've seen. But yeah, I wonder if you have to, uh, you know, get some acceleration. It definitely provides that for you for sure. As I was saying, like this engine's pretty, pretty torquey. Now let's conclude the video by just, you know, looking through the menus real quick. Huh, looks like it doesn't want to go in the park. You have to really push that button down. So if you go to settings, pilot assist. You can, uh, the only driving dynamics is steering feel firm. There's no sport mode, which kind of sucks. And I wish, Volvo didn't go away with like the sport mode selector does down here is like this little like um, wheel which you would uh, push if you want to change your mode. There's a trip computer. It's like an iPad kind of, you have like a home button and all that. It's very easy to use. They've been having the screen for a while now. But yeah, I mean it's uh, yeah, it's a pretty nice car overall. Comfortable, luxurious and uh, high safety. So nice car from Volvo. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and thank you for watching Drew Drives. And if you'd like to shop for Volvo vehicles and other cool pre-owned models, check out the link to Grubbs Family Dealerships in the description below. Thanks again and I'll see you on the next video.